On Monday, Hudson County TV was in Hoboken following up on the blockbuster announcement over the re weekend where Mayor Dawn Zimmer said that top officials in Governor Chris Christie's administration tried to strong armor into giving a development project to an ally of Christie. When Zimmer said no, she claims that she got a limited amount of Sandy aid that was not able to fully benefit the city the way she had planned. Then, yesterday, she made the announcement that she has actually sat down with the U.S. Attorney General's notice. She sent a statement to Hudson County TV via email. Email. The statement reads, This afternoon, I met with the U.S. Attorney's Office for several hours at their request and provided them with my journal and other documents. As they pursue this investigation, I will provide any requested information to testify under oath about the facts of what happened when the Lieutenant Governor came to Hoboken and told me that Sandy would be contingent on moving forward with a private development project. Now, at a press conference this morning, the Lieutenant Governor, Kim Godano, responded to the allegation and wholeheartedly denied the accusation, claiming that Mayor Zimmer's claim was illogical. Mayor Zimmer's version of our conversation in May of 2013 is not only false, but is illogical and does not withstand scrutiny when all of the facts are examined. Any suggestion, any suggestion that Sandy funds were tied to the approval of any project in New Jersey is completely false. Standing in Union Beach, as we are today, with some of the mayors whose towns were devastated by Sandy, And also, being a Sandy victim myself makes the mayor's allegations particularly offensive to me. The suggestion that anyone would hold back Sandy relief funds for any reason is wholly and completely false. We had a chance to speak with Hoboken Freeholder Tony Romano, one of the only Hoboken elected officials who would give us a comment on the matter on Monday. As far as the uh, what, what's, what's transpired over the course of the last couple of days, I've been completely blindsided. I had no hint uh, of this was coming. Um, I uh, was, got some phone calls to watch that uh, report that was on Saturday morning on MSNBC. And that's, that's where I uh, watched and learned of as all the events un, uh, unfolded. Additionally, Hudson County TV got a press release from Assemblyman Carmelo Garcia who weighed in on the issue. Garcia wrote in a statement sent to media outlets that I support a full investigation into the possibility that Hoboken residents were used as pawns for politically connected law firms, developers, or other powerful interests, whether it be the Assembly Committee or other levels of government, Hoboken residents deserve a clear answer. However, Garcia, a key opponent of Mayor Zim, brought into question the length of time it took her to bring this to the authorities and to the media. I am deeply concerned about Mayor Zimmer's allegations and the possibility Hoboken residents were adversely impacted, but I also have reservations about the mayor's comments. These are serious accusations that require scrutiny, but I also question Mayor Zimmer's long silence, her failure to immediately inform authorities on the timing of her accusations. I'm John Hydus, Hudson County TV, Hoboken.